Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. And we're going to pick up where we left off from the last Tailwind episode. Okay, so I'm taking the framework approach uh, to Tailwind and, you know, check out those videos. If you are using the other approaches, you could use Emmet here, you know, put this bang sign there and it will generate some scaffolding. You would plug in your, you know, CDN or whatever you'd like. And then within here, you can follow along and do the same thing. So right here, I just kind of just pasted in this, in this like predefined snippet that we talked about with the theory. So we have the section uh, tag and then we go into that tag and we have a div tag. We also go into this one as well and we have another div tag. And then within this div tag, we have the image tag. Then we use this um, icon here and we kind of climb up the tree and go up one and then you know create that sibling div do the same thing, climb up one more, create that sibling article tag. And then within that, we have the different components, the H1, the P, the div, until we get the same thing that we talked about in our theory. That's really that quick snippet that kind of just generates the scaffold. And I'm also running NPM run watch in the background. So we'll be able to see what that looks like in the browser. So we can do a quick check. So here we are inside of a Microsoft Edge. But if we were to inspect this fairly quickly, we could see that within our body tag, this is working as it should and we'll continue. And as things update, we'll just take a peek and look at this again, okay? So one thing to note here, you may have different assets than I do. So what I did here was I used the Tailwind config.js file and I went into the theme and where it says extend, I extended the background image component and I added you know, a name, a reference here called Guardian and I pointed to a URL where this uh, background would be and I called mine uh, bganime.png. So uh, you will have to do this if you wanna kinda like follow along with the way I'm doing the background. Uh, you could do it another way, but you know, just for the sake of this tutorial, you can follow along this way. So keep that in mind. I went in here and I did that and you'll see where this guardian comes into play and you can name this whatever you want. I just named mine guardian for now, but you can name it whatever you see fit. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back over here and within this section, I'm gonna add a class, okay? So these are gonna be my classes that I'm gonna add for Tailwind. So I'm gonna add block, I'm gonna add PX5, which is basically left and right padding. So we're just kind of building this thing out. I'm gonna have some padding on the bottom. And in this case, I'm gonna say about 10. And then also I would like the text, if there's any text inside this thing, I would like it to be white. So these are just Tailwind classes that I'm pulling in from the Tailwind uh, framework itself. If you're not familiar with this, it's okay. We'll get to this as well. well. We'll talk about this in greater detail. Just, you know, kind of follow along and you'll see how these uh, results kind of work. I want the background to be centered. I don't want the background to repeat. So we're going to say no repeat. We don't want it to repeat. Uh, we just want it to be one large image. And in this case, we're going to want the background to be I believe cover and that should work out pretty well. Now, um, this is where this BG guardian comes in. I have this BG and what I did was I called it guardian. So here it is. So this is really just referencing inside of the tailwind.config.js file here. It's the background images and I want this thing guardian and it's going to basically add this URL. So I'll show you the size of the image when I pull this in and you know what it would look like, the uh, dimensions of the image. So to kind of give you an idea and you can have whatever image you like. So really it, it's up to you at the end of the day. So the next thing we're gonna do is some of this responsive work at these breakpoints, the medium breakpoint. I'm gonna do the padding slightly a little bit different. I'm gonna make it PX10. Also at the medium, this PY, which is like the spacing, I'm actually gonna set that to 12. At the large breakpoint, I'm gonna set the PX value to 10. This is just kind of some of the responsive things that I wanna work on when we you know, shrink this down and scale it. I'm not gonna make it completely fully responsive and do all the tweaking, but I will do some things to give you guys a general idea. And also at the large breakpoint, I would also like to set the PY to 16. And if we save this out and I jump to, you know, the browser, we can see what we will have. Okay, so nothing special yet. We just have this background that I pulled in and we have some styling that I've added. So if we could do a kind of quick inspect here, we will see that we have this section and it's got a bunch of associated classes. If we check classes here, uh, this item here, these are the classes that I've added. So the same thing that we have added into our code is the same thing that's represented over here. Okay, so um, nothing really crazy, just kind of getting this background in 
and here it is. So we're gonna move on to the next section. So don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts below, hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, until next time.